Hello, my name is Rajana. Today I would like to show you the lesson of multinomial logistic regression model in the episode 1. In this lesson, I use data and the line The outline in episode 1 talk about what is invented for students, what is multinomial logistic regression, what is input and outcome of variable and talk about diagram of multinomial logistic regression model let me show you what is advantage for students for daisy in a dissertation we can use one or more than one model according to requirement of the university for publication or paper or article, in a paper we can use at least one model. So the students should understand multinomial logistic regression model before choosing the topic for thesis or paper. What is multinomial logistic regression? The multinomial logistic regression model was carried out to evaluate factors that affect the child. This model was comprehensively used in the study related to multiple choice that set in the dependent variable. This model was divided two parts, such as dependent variable and independent variable. Let me show you what is independent variable or input. It is a variable that stands alone and is not changed by the other variable you are trying to measure. For example, someone's age might be an independent variable. What is dependent variable or outcome? It is something that depends on other factor, for example, a test score could be a dependent variable because it could be changed depending on several factors such as how much you study or how much did you sleep before you take the test. In this part, I talk about an example of diagram in the multinomial logistic regression model. At the right hand side is the path of dependent variable of outcome and have three groups of coffee such as group A, the coffee that has sugar 80%, group B, the coffee that has sugar 100%, and group C, the coffee that has sugar 120%. At the left hand side is the part of independent variable or input and have the variable age, education, gender, job, right, and other variable. I explain the variable age. Older person may choose the coffee that low sugar. It could be the group A, is the coffee that has sugar 80% because older person may not like the sweet. But younger person may like the sweet. So the group C is coffee that has sugar 120% is chosen by younger person. So the variable A may affect to the outcome. so that all the variable input can affect to the variable outcome.